We're going to do a environment setup walkthrough. Uh, it can be intimidating trying to figure out how to make all these tools that you're about to be asked to make play together. Uh, it can be hard to make them all play together. Um, and um, it's sometimes helpful to see how someone deals with error messages or whatever. So um, I, my wife kindly agreed to let me borrow her laptop. Um, and then, so we're going to do like the full environment setup um, on her machine. And um, I'll, as I encounter pieces, I'll talk about them a little bit. If I get stuck on something, I'll talk about how to get unstuck um, and hopefully dispense little useful tidbits as we go. Uh, that'll hopefully set you up for getting your environment set up. So here we go. Um, so we're on mod0.turing.io. Uh, text setup, step one, new, new to Mac. Um, you should watch that video. Uh, basics of using Mac. Um, next, we're going to install Atom. Um, oh, and as I go, if I use like keyboard shortcuts or something, I'm going to mention them because they might be useful to you. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to use, I want to open up this link. If I hold the mouse over the URL, you can see down here in the bottom left-hand corner, it says uh, HTTPS colon slash slash atom.io, and then if you hold down the command key and tap it, it opens up this new tab up here in the background. Um, to the, the link. If I don't hold down the command key and I just click it, it takes me straight there and it changes my current page, which I usually don't want if I'm opening up a bunch of links and looking at stuff. Like if I'm Googling how to do something, I usually open up a couple of links and then work through them slowly. So I'm going to hold down the command key, click, and then move over this, this tab. So let's get Adam. Uh, cool. Click the download button. Okay. Downloaded, um, so we can just click it, and it'll open the zip, unzip it. Okay, you can see here in Finder, um, in the downloads, I tend to view things in the list view. Um, so if you click this little button here, it just shows everything in the list view. Let's open that up. Double-clicking it, verifying itself. Click open. And boom. OK. Uh, we've got Adam. I would unclick the show welcome guide. Close this tab. So I'm sure we're going to say no, don't send my usage data. And we'll leave it at that. So we've got Adam installed now. Great. Yep, as I expected. Okay, so we're going to follow these instructions. We're going to open up a terminal. So command space opens up this spotlight thing. Um, and then you can type whatever you want into it. In this case, we're going to type uh, terminal and hit enter. And now it opens up terminal. So if you do the same thing, you should get something that looks like this. Um, now, in the prompt, we're going to type this Xcode select dash dash install. So that's Xcode select dash dash install. Um, requires command line developer tools, so we're going to say install. Uh, we're going to agree. Continue on battery power, and I might be plugging us in shortly because we're at 86%. Software is installed. Awesome. Um, if you open up your terminal again, um, you'll see that nothing looks different. But that's okay, it worked. Uh, to see if it worked, I'm not sure how, but let's figure it out. So Xcode select dash p, and cool, it says command line tools. Uh, if you entered something that doesn't exist, like uh, select with two t's, dash, uh, dash p, or really dash anything, um, it says it doesn't know what the thing is. So because it didn't say command not found for Xcode select, uh, we can be confident that it exists. Cool. All right, onward. Uh, so we got that. 
uh, and our password. All right, so now we need homebrew. Homebrew is amazing, um, powerful. It basically, like you know how you can like, we just downloaded and installed Atom by going to the website and then clicking install Atom. Um, homebrew lets you do all of that kind of stuff, but through the command line. So um, this is the command that you can enter um, to install Homebrew, or uh, we'll make this a URL for you. Um, you can go to the Homebrew website, Homebrew website, um, and see how to install it there. So usually when I'm following instructions, especially because instructions can get out of date, um, I'll often look to see like the, the source of truth. So if they're like, install Atom via this URL, often I'll just go to the atom.com, or like find the URL and download and whatever. But um, this says this exact same thing. These are, this is the same command. So I'm gonna copy and paste um, this. Oh yeah, interesting. So if you click once, nothing happens. If you double click, it'll kind of highlight the chunk of text that your mouse is over. But if you triple click, um, it'll usually highlight the whole row and or the whole line of text and nothing more than the text. So that's how I got this whole line. Triple click, Command C, um, then I Command Tab uh, over my terminal, and then I'm just going to Command V that in, and off it goes. Didn't have to hit Enter. Sometimes it will. You'll need to. So um, this is all the output for installing Homebrew. Uh, and then it's going to need your feedback a couple times, so like press return to continue or any other key to abort. I definitely want to continue, so I'm going to hit enter. And off it goes. It needs my password, so I'm going to enter that. Hit enter again, and off it goes. This is receiving objects piece. Is it downloading things? Um, then it's just... Let's be honest. I, no one knows exactly what all of this means. I was about to say, it looked kind of like it had finished because it was just like checking out files, 100% done, and then the terminal was hung for a while. Um, I didn't think it was done because you can see this prompt here where it says Christie's MacBook Pro tilde dollar sign such and such. Um, so this is Christie's prompt. My wife's like, when you're just like doing stuff in the shell, that's what you can see. Um, and since the computer was still thinking, it was. The prompt wasn't visible there. Uh, yeah, okay, so onward. So we've got Homebrew installed, um, and now we can say like how to verify that Brew or Homebrew is installed, and we can just type in through. And if we get something back, uh, we know good things. So let's see, we typed in, where did we type in Brew? Brew, and then it said it gave example usage and stuff. So if you type in brew and get anything back, you're in good shape. If you type in homebrew, it doesn't know what it is. So we installed a program called home, homebrew, but the usage is we access it through brew. So if you type in brew and get something, you're in good shape. All right, onward. So install homebrew. We got the password. When it's completed, it should run brew doctor. So this is confusing, right? So like, what is run brew doctor? That is kind of shorthand for in your terminal, type the words brew doctor and then hit enter. Um, and that's what that's what this is saying here. So um, we'll, I'll clean up some of this uh, in a bit, but that means we can do brew doctor, type hit enter, and homebrew will think for a moment and it should report that everything's good to go. And it did, your system is ready to brew. Um, if you get a warning from Homebrew about your path, do the following. Um, what this so if you if you um, if this does happen to you, um, that means run this command. You just copy and paste this into your terminal, hit enter, and then copy and paste this into your terminal, hit enter, and then run the command brew doctor one more time, and the warning should go away. Um, this isn't really worth getting into the details of exactly why this works. But if this doesn't work, um, leave a comment somewhere that I can find it. Um, I'll, there will be somewhere you can do that and we'll kind of like update accordingly. All right, next. Um, we're making great progress, by the way. Installing Xcode Select probably took forever because it's a huge download. Um, Atom, Brew, like well on our way. So um, we need Git, um, Git or GitHub github.com um, is this. 
uh, it's how um, people can like share and manage code. Um, it's a really important tool. Um, at the end of the day, when you're paid to write code, it's all going to be dealt with likely via Git. So to install Git, we'll use Homebrew, which we just installed. So it says, in your terminal, type this, brew install Git. So we can open up the terminal, command tab over there, and type brew install git. But we're not going to do that quite yet. Brew has a cool search tool. Um, so if anyone like, say, says something like brew install whatever, I usually do brew search that thing first. Um, so I'm going to do brew search git and see what comes back. Um, what this means is we're the first word that we enter means like we're talking to the brew program, not Xcode select, not Atom, not anything else. And then search is another kind of uh, request passed to the program. So it's like, hey, brew, I now want you to search for whatever comes next. And then the thing that came next was git. So we're telling brew to search for anything with git in the name. Um, and a lot of stuff came back, right? Uh, and we don't really want any of these, except for right here is the one that we were told, told to install. Brew install git. So we'll do brew install git. Um, I once, so as a, the reason I do this is sometimes programs, uh, like there's a hyphenated version of it and an underscored version of it, and those are like different things. It shouldn't happen a lot, but um, I've gotten like myself tripped up before I did brew install something underscore something, and I should have done brew install something dash something. So um, sometimes like using search can be a little bit of a, um, it can help like make sure that you're installing the, the right thing. Looks like it worked. Um, so now we can see if git works. We can type in like git. And hey, got stuff back. We didn't get git command not found. Um, uh, we don't have to worry about how to use git just yet. We can just know that now git is installed. So phenomenal work. Configuring git. Basic information about us. Um, global configuration, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, command space to open terminal, so, or alt tab, because you probably just have it open. Um, and now we can paste in, or rather type in, uh, these commands. So I'll make my terminal a little smaller so we can see stuff. So this is basically, um, like, well, here, we can do git dash dash, uh, dash dash help. You can always, pretty much always pass in a help flag to a command and it'll tell you how to do stuff. Um, so that told us some stuff, um, but we can also do git config dash dash help, I think, yeah. And then this will tell us more information about how we're about to like access this dash dash global, user.name, user.email, whatever. Um, oh man, this is pretty opaque. Um, Wow, there's like 10,000 lines on how to use git config, uh, which is not helpful. So we're gonna stop. Um, I'm stuck in this reading view right now, by the way. You can see this colon, and when I type stuff, like it just complains and I can't actually get out. Backspace doesn't do anything. Um, this is a file reader called less. It's a program called less. To get out of it, you just type Q, and it lets you out. So if you're ever in something and you can't get out, just like you, an escape doesn't work, um, you can usually hit Q and it'll let you go. So um, we're gonna type in git config dash dash global user dot name and my name is Josh Thompson. Hit enter and then git, sorry, git config dash dash global user dot email Thompson Josh D at gmail dot com. We're gonna, all right, now did this work? It's a great question. I'm not sure. Um, we're gonna cat uh, get config. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what just happened? I wanted to see if this worked. Um, I happen to know that there is a file now in our home directory called dot git config, and you can use cat, which uh, concatenates or kind of prints the results or the contents of that file. So um, I just catted that file and saw the things that I just put into it. So we're good to go. Um, install Chrome, we already have it. Okay, uh, that was it. So this, I'm just gonna end the video here. This is installing like the basic um,
tech setup. So if you made it all the way to the end, awesome. If not, um, reach out. Uh, I'm in Slack, or um, there'll be ways to reach out in this in this video. Good work. Um, for the Ruby people, I've got another Ruby video coming shortly.